In analyzing any subject, I always think it's most useful to start by looking at the big picture. So in relation to health and diet, the big picture is that humans are evolved to eat a certain diet. And in many cases, we're not eating anywhere close to that nowadays. Now, certain nutrients the average American probably eats just as much or more of as their ancestors did. We certainly eat a lot of protein. We get a lot of B vitamins, considering the large amount of meat in the average American diet. We certainly eat a lot of calories, especially in the form of carbohydrates. All of those we're getting, I would guess, at least as much or more of as we got traditionally. But there are a couple of things that are severely lacking in the modern diet. And in my opinion, the two main ones of these are antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids. And what have these been linked to? Heart disease, cancer, inflammatory disease, impaired neurological function. And what do you see in America today? Those same problems. This isn't just some little issue, even though almost everyone overlooks it. If you were only getting a tenth as much protein as you were supposed to eat, you'd think that was an enormous problem. And yet the average American is probably only eating a tenth as many antioxidants or a tenth as much omega-3 fatty acids as they traditionally ate. And yet no one seems to focus on this particular issue. Let's look at some of the main antioxidants. And I would mention first that it's been shown in studies that taking a vitamin pill isn't necessarily the same as eating a nutrient or vitamin direct from fresh food. So vitamin C, for example, the average American today sometimes doesn't eat any fresh fruits or vegetables. And even if we do, it's not really anywhere close to what people ate in traditional societies where they ate a lot of root vegetables, high in vitamin C, certainly fruits and fresh vegetables, very high in vitamin C. We're not eating anywhere close to what we ate traditionally in most cases. Many Americans not even getting a tenth as much vitamin C as they traditionally got. Vitamin E, if you've ever looked at the RDA of vitamin E in various foods, it's almost impossible to come anywhere close to the RDA of vitamin E unless you eat nuts, as people traditionally ate a lot. Vitamin D from sunlight or plant or fungal sources, especially mushrooms. Again, most Americans not spending nearly as much time in the sun as they used to. And then there's just a wide range of phytochemicals that act as antioxidants. In fact, maybe the main source of antioxidants in the diet. And once again, just like with vitamin C, the main source is vegetables, and the average American might not even be eating a tenth as much as their ancestors obtained. So what do antioxidants protect against? Ultimately, they protect against oxidative stress, which leads to the problems that I mentioned before, heart disease, uh, Alzheimer's, inflammatory disease, all of the problems that you see in America today in outrageously high quantities compared to traditional societies. And oxidative stress, it's counteracted by antioxidants, but it's caused by other factors, particularly rancid fats in the diet, air pollution, things that we have just as much or more of today as we always had. And so today we probably need just as much, if not many more antioxidants in our diet, and yet we're not getting a fraction of what we should be getting. And in case you haven't seen my past videos, I almost just forgot to say potentially the main source of oxidative stress in the modern diet, which is hydrogenated oil. Next is omega-3 fatty acids, and here the situation is probably even worse than with antioxidants. The average American isn't even getting a fraction of the omega-3s that we got in a traditional diet. It's removed from all the processed foods, and so the whole foods that we ate traditionally had hundreds of times more omega-3 fatty acids than the processed bleached white flour that we eat today, for example. Even the animal products people eat today are much lower in omega-3s unless you eat all organic animal products because conventional methods of raising animals lead to a much lower omega-3 content. And lastly, fish, one of the best sources of omega-3s, is much lower in the American diet today than it was traditionally. And what is a lack of omega-3 fatty acids in the diet linked to? Inflammatory disease, heart disease, delayed neurological development in children, other neurological problems, the whole host of things you again see specifically in modern society with people eating modern diets.